Okay, so the mortgage application, this is the form. Uh, I don't put that in there because it's too much to put it in. If somebody want a copy of the mortgage application or somebody want a copy of the loan questionnaire, uh, just let us know, we email you a copy of each. Uh, but look, I have the I have a whole package of mortgage application. It's called Uniform Residential Loan Application and it has eight or nine pages. Right? It's a, a lot. It's a lot. And and you don't want to fill it out and your client don't want to fill it out because it's eight to nine pages. It's a lot of pages. Do you want to fill this out? Do you? No. No. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 you don't want to fill it up. You will let the mortgage team fill it up because it's so much to work on. Um, in the past, we have had only four pages. And I remember I, I started this career a long time ago, 20 years ago, when I had to ha do handwriting. Back then, there is no internet submit submission. There is no, no internet upload. Back then, everything I had to do handwriting. I remember, if I make one mistake, I have to do it all over again. And I remember my first loan, I keep rewriting it and my hand got really tired. <laughs> Only four pages and now it's eight pages, it's double. And I, luckily now we can type it, we don't have to write it. Um, in the past, it's, it's only four pages, but now it's eight pages. And it's asked about everything about the buyer. Uh, birthday, social security number, um, about if they you marriage know. or not marriage, how many ju how many uh, dependent children, about their work history, about their job history, everything in here. A lot more than what I just said. That's why eight pages. So nobody wants to t to write this or type this. Only the loan department. We have to do this. Okay. So that's why I created. I created this room questionnaire and how many pages do we have? Two pages. Only two pages. First page, second page, and the third page is the authorization form. Um, the authorization form is the form for clients to agree to allow us to run their credit report. That's it. So do you write a few out two pages or eight pages? Which one? Two pages. That's why we created Loan Questionnaire. And I created this form using, based on the information of the residential loan application, I picked out what most important that I need, and I put it in here. And also, those these information are the ones that only the one who talked to the client can get it. Because the loan department is sitting behind the scene, they don't see your client the first time. They will, talk, they will communicate to your client when the loan turned into lender, but after that, later. But at the beginning, we don't talk to your client. You are the agent, you are the only one who can get this information for us. And these are really important, including their email, their phone number, that's how we can communicate, right? How many children do they have that still on their tax return? Uh, how long have they been in the job? How long have they been in the residential? What the purpose of buying the home? These two pages include the most important information that only the agent who can get it for us. So that's why when you have the clients, you will help us to fill this out. I prefer an agent fill it, filling this form out for your client instead of you ask your client to fill it out. Why? Because filling out the form will help you to create the relationship or the connection with your client. You don't know anything about them. This is the best thing to start with. You don't have to think of what question to ask them. You just ask from the form. You say, okay, I'm going to help you to fill out the loan questionnaire. Um, I'm gonna interview you and I'm gonna fill it up for you. So instead of I'll let you fill it up yourself. So as you fill the form, you can ask them like the current address and then how many years have you been here? 
if they live here for 20 years, say, wow, that's awesome. If they live here like only a year and a half and they want to move, they say, then you have to ask why. You want to understand the motivation of the new purchase, right? You want to understand your client. What is the purpose of buying a new home? Two weeks ago, we did a video uh, on radio and we say, when you want to buy a house, all you need to do when you come to us is tell us what you want and why you want it. The rest, let me take care of you. Make it easy for people. So why is it important? Why do you want it? What you want and why do you want? That's the most two important thing that you want from your client. And make them feel like, this is easy. Make them feel like, I don't have to do anything. I'm going to get my dream home. Do you like that? Or you want to work so hard for your dream home? I like to have people taking care of my transaction. I, I just want to tell them what I want and why I want it, and I'm going to pick and choose which how I like. That's all I want to do. I don't want to sit and, and, and fill out this two, even two pages. I want to do that. We, uh, we as agents, we can do this. It's easy. And if you fill this form out two times, the third time is so easy for you. Because you get used to it. It's the same thing every time. It's not changing. It's not like this week the form different from next week. No, it's the same exact form. I've been doing this for so long, and I created this form for more than like 15 years ago, I think. It, it's just really easy. Um, so the different. So this is the loan questionnaire form, page number one. Um, so I don't need to go through it because normally, what is it? It their name their social security number, their birthday, and if they marry or single, uh, of course you can tell they are male or female, they, you want their cell phone, their email, you want their current address, for sure, and how long they live there. This is really important. Let them pay attention to the history of residency, okay? Um, and then if they live there less than two years, then you need to know the address of the previous home, okay? And you ask them question, are you in forbearance? Forbearance meaning um, right now they don't pay for their mortgage. And that's no good. And this happened in 2020 a lot, but not anymore. So, we, But we have to answer all the questions, right? Uh, anything here is important. Like, are you obligated to pay alimony child support? Uh, have you had a short sale, foreclosure, bankruptcy? All this information are critical. Because lender will base on all the answer here to approve the loan or not. I don't want you to skip anything on this loan, uh, two, two pages. Because you don't have to pay, fill out the eight pages. Now you only fill out two pages. Do not, do not leave anything out. Fill out every single item in here. Because I only pick up the most important thing to put into these two pages. So that means everything here is critical. Everything in here is very important. So we want everything to be filled out. Um, so the second part of the form is loan and property information. So you ask them, how much do you think you are affordable to you like the Like the way you ask for the purchase price that they're thinking of. Most of the time, they know how much they want to spend, OK? Um, but sometimes they say, I don't know. I need you to tell me how much I'm qualified. Then that's good. But then the next question, you because normally in here, I don't ask how much money you have. I don't ask in this form because I collect the bank statement. But I ask this question. How much do you plan to put in your down payment? What is your down payment amount that you plan to do? And they will tell you, uh, I, I'm planning to do uh, a hundred thousand down payment or two hundred thousand down payment. Listen, when they say I I plan to do a hundred thousand down payment, doesn't mean they have a hundred thousand down payment in their bank account. Don't don't assume. Do not assume they have that amount in the bank account. But you you ask the next question. Where is the money right now? A lot of people, especially Asian, money is under the bed or money is everywhere, right? So you will. That will be this, the second part we'll talk about money. Right. So you ask them all the questions here, and then the third part is employment. Employment is very important. Um, you would need to uh, ask them their current employment information, start date, 
When did you start this job? You have to know the date exactly, like June 15, 2018, right? Starting. And then what position? All oh, this is important. What position you are holding right now? The title. And you, you ask for the, uh, the current address of the, the company, the building, and what kind of income they earn, earn W2 or 1099. And if they work for the current company less than two years, then you need to ask for previous employer uh, information. So that's the first page. So all of them are important. The second page we have, we, we have uh, the, uh, the, in the middle part, we have what call uh, property owned. So that we will ask them how many properties do they own. If they own more than five properties, We'll, we'll, we'll have to provide them uh, extra, or we might write it somewhere else and submit together with this. Some people own 20 properties. This is not enough. We have to write more on another page and, and set it in together to the loan department. Right underneath property own, we ask for credit card information. Why? Because in order for us to do a pre-approval for our client, we have to run their credits. And to run the credits, it cost the money. And now the money is like sixty sixty three dollars. Yeah, I have to change the fee here, otherwise we, we pay for it. Nobody changed yet. Change it. And the last part of the second page of the low questionnaire is uh, the checklist. Um, the checklist will ask them to provide pay stuff, one month of pay stuff, two months of bank statement, two years of W two, two years of tax return, travel license and uh, mortgage statement, home insurance if they currently own any property. Uh, if somebody is uh, self-employed and they have K-1 file, they want you want two years of K-1. Uh, K-1 is on form uh, 1120S, okay? So that's global questioning. It, it, it is very important information and it's really important for you as an agent to collect all the data and bring it, uh, bring the loan to us. So this is the borrower authorization form. They sign it so we can uh, proceed the loan, run in the credit, analyze the income. They have to sign this for us to start working on the loan. Any question between these two forms, uh, uh, residential loan application and the loan questionnaire? Any question between them?